This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. FDA Food Safety Modernization Act Key Definitions for the FDA FSMA Critical Control Point or CCP A critical control point is a point, step or procedure at which controls can be applied and a food safety hazard can be prevented eliminated or reduced to acceptable levels. CGMP, current good manufacturing practices or CGMPs include guidance provided by the U.S. FDA regarding prescribed food business operational standards. FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA or U.S. FDA, is a federal agency of the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act, the United States Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act abbreviated as FFDCA, FDCA, or FDNC is a set of laws passed by Congress in 1938 giving authority to the U.S. FDA to oversee the safety of food, drugs, and cosmetics. FSMA the Food Safety Modernization Act or FSMA is a regulatory act mandated by the U.S. FDA. It focuses more on preventing food safety problems rather than relying primarily on reacting to problems after they occur. The FSMA is comprised of a number of rules defined as enforceable guidance. FSVP, the Foreign Supplier Verification Program or FSVP is a program that importers into the U.S. must have in place to verify that their foreign suppliers are producing food in a manner that provides the same level of public health protection as the preventive controls or produce safety regulations and to ensure that the supplier's food is not adulterated or misbranded with respect to food allergens. HARPC Hazard Analysis and Risk-Based Preventive Control is one of many provisions of the FSMA. HARPC requirements include plans for potential terrorist acts, intentional adulteration for economic gain and food fraud. Health and Human Services The United States Department of Health and Human Services or HHS is also known as the Health Department, is a cabinet-level department of the U.S. federal government and is tasked with protecting the health of all Americans and providing essential human services. Primary Production Farm a primary production farm is in operation under one management in one general location devoted to the growing of crops, harvesting of crops, raising of animals including seafood, or any combination of the above mentioned activities. Secondary Activities Farm A secondary activities farm is an operation devoted to harvesting, packing and or holding raw agricultural commodities but not located on the primary production farm. FDA FSMA Development when considering the development, documentation and implementation of the FDA FSMA within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes about the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act. History of FDA Food Safety Modernization Act FDA authority under the FSMA key requirements of the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act. HARPC Methodology and Steps about the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, an increasing number of Americans get sick, are hospitalized and in some cases die from largely preventable foodborne illnesses. Likewise, high-profile outbreaks and global recalls have highlighted the need to make continuous improvements in the food safety systems of the USA. The Food Safety Modernization Act signed into law by President Barack Obama strengthens the authority of FDA to better protect public health by helping ensure the safety and security of the food supply. It focuses more on preventing food safety problems instead of relying primarily on reacting to problems after they occur. The FSMA is intended to build a food safety system for the future that uses modern and comprehensive science as well as risk-based preventive controls across all sectors of the food system from farm to fork. The primary idea is that the better the system of manufacturing, processing, holding, distributing and preparing of foods, the safer the food supply will be. Under the FSMA, companies are required to develop and implement a documented food safety plan approved by the FDA. The FDA has encompassing authority to monitor participating companies, 
better respond to food safety problems and mandate food recalls when required. Additionally, the FDA ensures that imported foods are as safe for consumers as those foods produced in the U.S. The effectiveness and corresponding reduction in food contamination and foodborne illness depends on how successfully preventive controls address the sources of contamination, and how well controls are implemented. The FDA has developed several guidance documents on subjects covering hazard analysis and preventive controls, environmental monitoring, food allergen controls, validation of process controls, and also a small entity compliance guide that explains the actions a small or very small business must take to comply. History of FDA Food Safety Modernization Act the U.S. Congress passed updated food safety laws in 2010 to ensure the U.S. food supply was safe by shifting the focus of federal regulators from responding to contamination to preventing it. The Food Safety Modernization Act was signed into law by President Obama in 2011. The FSMA gives the FDA the authority to better protect the public health by strengthening the food safety and security system of the U.S. The Hazard Analysis and Risk-Based Preventive Control or HARP-C method was incorporated into the FSMA in 2012 and it applies to almost all U.S. food processing facilities. Soon after, the FDA published a proposed rule entitled Current Good Manufacturing Practice and Hazard Analysis and Risk-Based Preventive Control for Human Food. FDA Authority Under the FSMA Under the FSMA the FDA has a legislative mandate to require comprehensive, science-based preventive controls across the food supply chain. This mandate includes mandatory preventive controls for food facilities, mandatory produce safety standards and authority to prevent intentional contamination. The scope of FDA authority includes responsibility for establishing science-based minimum standards for the safe production and harvesting of fruits and vegetables. These standards must consider naturally occurring hazards, as well as those that may be introduced either accidentally or intentionally, and must address soil amendments materials added to the soil such as compost, hygiene, packaging, temperature controls, animals in the growing area and water. Issuing regulations to protect against the intentional adulteration of food, including establishment or science-based mitigation strategies to prepare and protect the food supply chain at specific vulnerable points. Provision of oversight, ensure compliance with requirements and the ability to respond effectively when problems emerge. The FSMA provides FDA with important new tools for inspection and compliance including mandated inspection frequency, record access, and testing of accredited laboratories. Facilitation of a risk-based inspection frequency for food facilities. The law directs FDA to inspect an increasing number of foreign facilities on an ongoing basis. Specification for certain food testing to be carried out by accredited laboratories and the establishment of laboratory accreditation programs to ensure that U.S. food testing laboratories meet high-quality standards. Mandates for tools to respond effectively when problems emerge including mandatory food recall authority, expanded administration detention, suspension of registration, enhanced product traceability and additional record keeping for high-risk foods. The FDA has authority to issue a mandatory recall when a company fails to voluntarily recall and safe food after being requested to do so by the FDA power to facilitate the administrative detention of food products that are potentially in violation of the law. And administrative detention is the procedure FDA uses to keep suspect food from being moved. Suspension of the registration of a food facility if it determines that the food poses a reasonable probability of serious adverse health consequence or death. A facility under suspension is prohibited from distributing food. Establishment of systems that will enhance the FDA's ability to track and trace both domestic and imported foods. The FDA will also establish pilot projects to explore and evaluate methods to rapidly and effectively identify recipients of food to prevent or control a foodborne illness outbreak. Under the FSMA, the FDA has the unprecedented authority to better ensure imported products meet U.S. standards and are safe for U.S. consumers. The FDA will ensure importer accountability. Food importers have a specific responsibility to verify that their foreign suppliers have adequate preventive controls in place to ensure that the food they produce is safe. 
establishment of a program through which qualified third parties can certify that foreign food facilities comply with U.S. food safety standards. The certification may be used to facilitate the entry of imports, including special requirements for imported high-risk foods. Authority to refuse entry into the U.S. any food from a foreign facility if the FDA is denied access by the facility or the country in which the facility is located. The law allows the FDA to enter into interagency agreements to leverage resources with respect to the inspection of seafood facilities, both domestic and foreign, as well as seafood imports. Key Requirements of the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act There are four key requirements for the implementation of the FDA Food Safety Modernization Act, risk-based preventive controls, primary production and secondary activities farming, supply chain, current good manufacturing practices, FSMS Rule 1, risk-based preventive controls. The first FSMS requirement is for all covered facilities to establish and implement a food safety system that includes an analysis of hazards and risk-based preventive controls. This includes requirements for a documented food safety plan including hazard analysis, preventive controls, and oversight and management of preventive controls. In hazard identification, all known or reasonably foreseeable physical, biological, Chemical including radiological hazards must be considered. These hazards could be naturally occurring, unintentionally introduced, or intentionally introduced for economic gain if food safety is affected. Preventive measures must then be established so that the hazards identified will be minimized or prevented by these controls. Preventive controls include process, food allergen and sanitation controls, as well as supply chain controls and a recall plan. The rule provides flexibility in the steps needed to ensure that preventive controls are effective, as well as addresses problems that may arise by monitoring, corrections and corrective actions, and verification. Monitoring procedures are designed to provide assurance that preventive controls are effective and are consistently performed. It is conducted as appropriate to the preventive control. Corrections are immediate actions taken to timely identify and correct minor, isolated problems that occur during the production run. Corrections are short-term control. On the other hand, corrective actions include actions to identify a problem with preventive control implementation, reduce the likelihood the problem will reoccur, evaluate affected food for safety, and prevent it from entering the market. These actions are long-term controls. They must be properly documented with records maintained. Verification activities are required to ensure that preventive controls are consistently implemented and are working correctly. They include validating with scientific evidence that a preventive control is capable of effectively controlling an identified hazard for example, acidity below a pH of 4.6 or temperature below 5 degrees Celsius of 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Calibration or accuracy checks a process monitoring and verification instruments such as thermometers and reviewing records to verify that monitoring and corrective actions as needed are being done. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create, manage and implement GFSI and HACCP based food safety and quality programs? Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge? Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes? Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business? The information and training resources available through HACCP.com included a variety of formats, such as, website content, MP4, MP4 and text, MP3, PDF and slideshow. Are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey? Visit HACCP.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more.